Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Raft. Uh, today we are uh, hopefully going to be finishing up our exploration of the floating city of Tangaroa. Um, and we should be able to basically jump right back on in. Uh, but first, we do have one very quick task that we need to take care of, and that is naming our llama. Uh, you all were incredibly helpful and sent in a ton of very good name suggestions. Um, and I do normally go by whoever comes first in the name suggestions gets their animal named. However, there was one that was just far too perfect and did get some additional support in the comments last time um, that I, I'm just gonna have to go with for our llama. Um, so for those of you who, again, did not get their name picked this time, please be sure to leave comments again in the future. Um, but this time our llama's name, uh, coming from, I believe ChopMac84 was the first to suggest it, um, but was also supported by some others of you I know. Um, but this llama is going to be Kuzco. And, uh, you know, for those fans of The Emperor's New Groove, you, you know that that is just too perfect of a name to pass up. Um, so, now I know that they, um, I know there, there was, yeah, they, they, they were llamas in that. I was about to say, like, wait, but they were, they also had, like, alpacas and stuff there. Um, but yeah, um, yes, llamas, a llama named Kuzco could not be more fitting. Um, so there we go. And, uh, I'm hoping he's, he's wanting to come say hi now. He's so happy to have a name. I was really hoping that, uh, he would grow one more set of wool for us. Um, but maybe not. Um, we're so close to being able to make a backpack. Um, we need, uh, five or six wool to make the backpack. I have five stored up, but I think I harvested him too recently. Uh, to get another. Um, so, I think that we're gonna have to just run on in to the city and get our, uh, our looting game going. Um, so in addition to providing me with a bunch of possible llama names, uh, you guys were also incredibly helpful in providing me with the location of a couple of items that I did miss in the one building, uh, that we did loot last time. Um, I think that it's just two things that I missed. Um, if I'm forgetting one again, uh, I do apologize. I know I did see your comment, uh, but keeping everything straight, especially while I am trying to record, is difficult. But the first was in this trash can in this bedroom, I missed some tape. Um... And then the other thing is I even called it out in the episode, uh, but if we climb back up on the roof, I was like, huh, I bet if we walked around that ledge, there might be some loot there. And apparently there is. So we're going to try not to fall off the building. Yep, and I see it right now. Uh, let's go grab this. And oh boy, does that have some good stuff. Uh, bunches of bolts and hinges with a little bit of scrap, and, uh, you know me last time. I was, I was all about that scrap so that we can get our fuel system all connected. So that is going to be very useful. Um, yeah, it is already getting dark, so maybe by the time we can real quick drop this off at the raft... And, uh, maybe by then, Kuzco will have a little bit more wool for us. We can make a backpack, and then the rest of this, uh, looting here will be just a bit easier. Um, and we won't fill up our inventory, uh, quite so quickly. Uh, obviously it's not actually full at the moment, but, uh, nonetheless... It will get that way rather rapidly if we do end up finding 
uh, a bunch of different kinds of resources, which I do hope that we uh, do indeed do. Um, all right, Mr. Kuzco. Well, the cluckers are laying eggs. That's a good sign. Yes, there we go. A sixth wool. Let's see. Oh, I don't have any water on me, so I cannot replenish your grass. I'm sorry, animals. Here, let's... We'll, we'll take care of that. We'll be... Oh, that didn't work. Wait, what's going on? Is the water just invisible? Oh, I think because it's nighttime, I just literally can't see it. Um, all right. There you go. Water, 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 water. And I will just drink that last bit, and we'll fill that up again before we head out. Let's go ahead and make it daytime. So it'll still take a minute to get bright. I'm not going to worry about that seagull for now. Okay. Uh, scrap goes here. I'm still getting used to this new storage system. I like it, but I still don't have it down quite yet. Uh, let's see. Wool, leather, I need some more rope. Uh, four rope. And craft the backpack. Now, if we throw this in here, we, like, nearly double our inventory space. I guess that's not quite true, because we have our hotbar here. But it's still a vast improvement to our inventory space. So that is fantastic news. Um, we'll go drop that off in the kitchen. And we don't really need to carry our shears anymore. So I will just leave those here. And our bow is a bit low, but hopefully we can deal with the robots with our machete. Um, I don't think that should be too much of an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a meal. Just to extra top off the food. got some water there and I can always uh, eat some mangoes to help it out even more. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. And it sounds like our cluckers are already laying more eggs. Um, I guess that the uh, the Catfish Deluxe there makes us like extra speedy or something, so I've got that little boot symbol uh, there above the hot bar. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's see. Okay, I suck at this. There we go. Oh, we got him. Alright, well, that was not a good example of how to take them out, but we at least got one more key card. I think we got a few last time, so we should be good. I'm also now remembering uh, the the comment I was forgetting, and that was lore. Uh, so this is Max Lan Lanshoff or Lanshoff, not sure. Lanshoff probably sounds more accurate. Founder of the Tangaroa Project, savior of Earth's finest. Uh, that's not pretentious at all. Uh, wait, do you have something on your little statue there, buddy? I... Oh, it's just a model of Tangaroa that is gold. The kid's name is Deto. How someone it is the same kid. Reconstruct an engine like that? I'll never know. But now we've got the boat working. We'll be gathering up a few more survivors before we head off. The rafters either hid up in the apartments or left to sea. Most of them seemed sick. No wonder they were so desperate. We need to hurry. Those large rats that came with the rafters are aggressive. I say let them chew Tangaroa into pieces. I'm coming for you, Hana. Remember the place we heard about? The sanctuary? We'll meet there. I know it. I'll see you there. Utopia. Utopia? Hmm. Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, man, I'm really bad at this. 
I am at your service. I'm at your service. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pick the next building here. Uh, is there their way into this one? I'm also just looking at these junk piles so I don't miss anything. Um, although I am sure I'm gonna miss stuff on this. I, I bet you guys are gonna leave me many, many a comment after this episode with a list of things that I, uh, I've left behind. But, uh, that is all right. Let's grab that plastic. And head on upstairs. Okay. So, uh, yeah, upstairs, right, right, right. Okay, uh, it's our only door from here. All right, no rats or anything yet. Uh, check the cabinets as usual. Uh, ooh, a vending machine token. I believe those used to just be called Tangaroa tokens, but maybe I'm crazy. Uh, here, let's eat this nasty looking smoothie with a bone in it. Guess I should probably have my machete out when we're opening new doors, just in case there's big nasty rats in here. Um, right, I'm looking for... Looking for loot. Alright, so this goes up stairs, it looks like, to this roof. We'll come back to that. I'm just gonna finish looting this apartment first. We'll come to the tape door after this. This is a big bathroom, my goodness. Ooh, more tokens. Interesting, that previous, uh building, I don't think had any tokens whatsoever, and that's a sneaky tape. Um, alright, I think that's everything in here. Ooh, a safe. More tape. If I remember right, I think that may actually be all the tape we need, but I could be mistaken. I will still keep grabbing it, of course. Uh, there we go, some titanium, a little explosive powder. That's always good. Alright, is that everything in here? That's back to the elevator. It looks like it. So let's head to the roof, which was through here. Alright. Um, Alright, so it looks like there's a zip line I can go to. I do have my zip line tool equipped. That looks a little bit far. Uh, how else would you get there? Oh, I guess, no, that building, yeah, just has another way up. Uh, ooh, that zipline's gonna be tricky. This is the one where we have to transfer zip lines, and I am not good at it. All right, anything else on this roof? Yes, precious, precious scrap. All right, let's make this little hop on over. And, ooh, hello, crate. Anything else on these little ledges? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, first try, let's go. 
I ultimately decided there, letting letting myself smash into the wall once and slow down was uh, gonna maybe be the better idea, and I think I think that was a good decision, even though my face might be a little mashed in. But that's why we're just gonna stay in first person mode. Um, all right, I think I think we're good to drop down. Uh, yeah, because we can't go back up. Alright, another crate. More scrap. Anything on that billboard? Does not look like it. Can I open this door? No. Uh, ooh, I hope there wasn't anything on that balcony. But it's a bit late to worry about that now. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me just hop over here anyway. Hello. Hello. Um, alright, I think we're good. I'm gonna just drop on down here. Immediately get targeted by that guy. Is there anything else hiding in these boxes? Pipe psyched me out. I thought that that was some some loot, some scrap. But wrong kind of pipes for scrap. Um. All right. I'm just kind of running around chaotically. I should do this a bit more systematically. All right. So we've. Done. No, we can't go in this building, but we did check the roof of it. Leave me alone, robot. Or I'll smack your head around again. Okay, so we went to that roof. Uh, we just went in here. But I think that this one... That was still a little sloppy, but I think something over here is there's like a secret something or other. Please use the elevator in the plantation area. Ooh, maybe when we fix up all the tape we can get in there. Um, we will see. Okay, we can't get in here. We've already done this building. Uh, there wasn't anything on this roof, I think, but uh, now I'm skeptical of that. There might be some stuff, like, hiding on this backside that we just couldn't see. I don't think we can get inside, but let's check. That is a no. Let's loop around over here to building eight. Make sure nothing's waiting in the corners for us. And, oh, we can't even get in. on the other side, though. That looks a little bit more promising. Okay. There we go. Here's one of those ones I was talking about where we have two floors to go to, but we'll start with floor 12. And, uh, we'll have a little mango snack as well. For the juice, not for the food. I guess it would have made more sense to eat the water. To eat the water? What am I doing? They drink the water at the moment, but... Uh, wait, pick up item. Oh, I was just reaching through the closed door. Alright. Nice little office building we've got here. Nothing on 
on that. I'm gonna rummage through everybody's cubicles. Alright, nothing on those. I see stuff. Ah, oh, <laughs> that scared me. Jump scare right there, my goodness. Nope, oh, come here. I want the stuff. Okay. That one doesn't open, that one doesn't open. I like your succulent though. Nothing there, nothing there, a little bit of stuff, someone just casually having metal ore in their office, uh, there we go, another token, I don't think anybody else had stuff on top of their computers, I wasn't looking at that super closely though, but I think this section looks Fairly clear now. Let's go through this whole area. So this opens also to the elevator. Um, no, it's kind of dark. I'm sorry about that. I don't have my uh, headlamp with me right now. I think we burned it out last time. Or I just put it away. Not sure which. Um, uh, uh. Again, though, sometimes it can be nice looting in the dark in this game because the, the stuff you can pick up kind of glows. All right, another section of office. So just like that, it's like I could see that vending machine token super easily in the tape. Um. All right, time to pick through people's. No, I'm that. No, that's not a good sentence. Um. Rummage through their desks. We'll go with that. Right, Some, you know, standard scrap and such, not too shabby. Um, any broken windows or anything? Not as such. All right, what's in here? Bathroom. Oh, that was just for there. Anything in the stalls? Uh, lots of good little succulents in this place. Need to get some succulents just to like decorate my office. I have Lego succulents at my actual work office. I do like those. Uh, is that the only door down here? I thought that we've passed more doors. Um, I guess maybe I was thinking of that one, which doesn't actually open. Let's check in here. All right, so we've got a taped off door. Another token. Alright. Uh, there we go. Any nasty critters in here? No. But a nice briefcase. And a cooler. Alright, they gave us all kinds of food. See, look, we've already filled up what would have been our inventory. So, it is a good thing that we've got extra space. I'm gonna take some of that water. Uh, okay, wait, there wasn't any... Gotta remember to, like, look for broken windows and things, so we can hop out on any ledges. 
we're big uh, daredevils like that. Naturally. But I think we're pretty good. Here's the elevator. Uh, let's head on up to 14. All right, same drill. Uh, oh my gosh, more desks. These things take so much time to go through because of all the cabinets. I mean, I really shouldn't complain about getting loot. It is my favorite. Wow, that desk had a lot of drawers. Come on. Come on. Okay. So now I'm like paranoid that I've been missing extra stuff because now I'm finding desks that have three openable drawers. And... Ah, okay, big rat, big rat. We're good. We're good. Only minor panic. Um, Alright. I think we left off right there. And that one is all clear. And we have survived a night of urban exploration. Alright. Bathroom looks all good. Um, through the conference room. Double tape. And I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I saw an open window here. So we'll come back to this conference room in a second. There's more stuff to find. Like that token. Wait, what do I keep? Oh, I'm just looking over that door. That's all. Uh, was this the area we already did? Or is it just an identical looking area? I think it's an identical looking area because none of the drawers are open and I definitely left some open. Right? Okay, I'm gonna leave that one open to be sure. Yep, it's new, okay. Something. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we've got the pool table. We play pool. Eh. Not. Not really. Okay. Um. All right. So that's just the elevator. Did I pass any more closed doors? Doesn't look like it. Um, are there any more broken windows like on this side of the building? Maybe not? Uh, ah, but we didn't go in here yet. So maybe there will be here. Right? Ooh, another conference room. Yeah, this place is like a mirror. Oh gosh, that is a terrifying... Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, gosh. Oh, but I do like that. We got a sushi recipe. I mean, I, uh, that's a little secret. I don't really like sushi, but hey, in the game, I can like whatever the heck I want. So... We can all pretend that I like sushi. All right, so now let's hop out here. Grab this miscellaneous loot. And I don't think I can go over that zip line. Nope. Um, so... 
I think that's all there is to see right here. Let's head on back down and find the next building then. That was a pretty productive one. So while we're waiting on uh, to find the next building, um, I do have a kind of a couple of updates for you all. Um, at least some hopeful plans. Um, we'll see. I potentially have some uh, some other life stuff going on that's going to keep me busy, but I'm hoping it won't affect upload schedule uh, at all, or at least too much. Um, but... I did go in here, yes. Um, but anyway, uh, so next week we will have, yes, we did go in there. Uh, we will have Grounded and Raft just like normal on our Tuesday and uh, Friday uploads. Um, oh yeah, here are the vending machines that we're going to be able to use. We'll take a deeper look at those uh, in a bit. Um, yeah, we'll have our normal, uh, Tuesday Grounded, Friday Raft uploads, um, but there, um, is also gonna hopefully be some bonus content next week, um, because there's a brand new survival game dropping, um, and it is kind of a nice little sort of belated birthday present for me um is actually uh next week's grounded episode is gonna be the you know cauldron wizard birthday special uh since that's gonna be coming out right on my birthday uh so that's fun uh but then on wednesday uh small land is gonna be dropping and that is a new survival game um, that on the surface looks a lot like Grounded, um, but from everything that I have heard, uh, plays quite a bit different. Um, but it does have still kind of a, a, the similar premise in that you're tiny and surviving in an outdoor world, um, you know, while you are the size of roughly an ant um so um since that is coming out into i believe it's dropping into early access i don't think it's coming out as a full release but i could be mistaken on that um that's coming out on the 29th uh of, or wednesday of next week if you're keeping up with this as it releases why can i not hello uh tape there we go. Um, yeah, if you're keeping up with these videos in real time, uh, that will be coming out next Wednesday. And so I am hoping that I can get uh, a video up with me starting a playthrough on that game. Then it's going to be me playing completely blind. I've seen like a few kind of teasers of the game, but nothing beyond that. Um... And so I'm going to start a blind playthrough of that that I'm hoping to release just when the game comes out um, on Wednesday. And then I will, in all likelihood, just because the game is going to be brand new and I'm going to be excited to play it, um, this will not be a recurring thing, but I will likely, um, throughout next week, probably drop a bunch of uh, bonus episodes um, and be doing, um, a bunch of those small land videos. Um, moving forward after next week, um, we're probably gonna, at least for a while, uh, shift to a three video a week schedule. Um, 
and uh, at least until we finish one of Grounded or Raft, more or less. Um, I feel like we're missing a room in here somewhere still. Maybe a balcony? No, this doesn't feel complete, but maybe it is. Um, but yeah, it, until we finish one of those games, um, I think we're going to try to shift to a three video a week schedule. Um, and, uh, I still don't know quite when I'm going to release the small land videos regularly. Um, but, uh, you guys will either figure it out <laughs> based on when videos start coming out regularly, or I'll make some kind of a announcement once I get that all worked out. But, uh, anyway, uh, that all should be happening soon. So next week should be an abnormally... Uh, busy week for the channel, um, and you guys will be seeing a brand new game. Um, so that should be quite fun. Um, do more of the same in here. I think we get outside somewhere in here. Yeah, there's our outside. Um... But yeah, other than that, I do have a couple of other things kind of brewing in the background. Um, and uh, I don't have really any uh, details just yet. I'm still working things out. Um, but long story short, as I have mentioned a few times that I do... Um, some Lego stuff. Um, I know that a few of you have shown um, or expressed interest in seeing some of my Lego builds and some stuff like that. And uh, I've mentioned um, a number of times that I've been kind of trying to figure out the best way uh, to share some of that stuff. And I'm getting closer. Um, and uh, more or less, stay tuned. Um, ah, there we go. There's a, another coin. Hopefully I haven't missed too many other ones. Maybe sitting on the back sill of those bathtubs. Um, but yeah, stay tuned on that. Um, long story short, I'm gonna be making a Lego-based additional YouTube channel. Um, and, uh... <laughs> I, again, I'm still working out all of the details on it. It's not going to uh, get uploads nearly as regularly here um, as we do on the gaming channel. Um, but I will be excited to... Oh, I didn't go outside yet. Um, to share uh, some of my builds um, and stuff like that over, uh, over on a new LEGO-based channel in the near future. Uh, my hope was to get that up and running by, um, by the end of the month, but I think that based on... Oh, 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 we got a rat! Uh, based on some of the other stuff I've got going on right now, uh, it's just delaying things a little bit. Um, so sometime in April, I will hopefully have that channel up. Um... But yeah, I am looking forward uh, to, to sharing some of that stuff with you guys as well. So um, that way we'll have some video game building and uh, in real life building content. Uh, should be good. Um, well, I don't really know what else there is for me up on this roof. I mean, like, I can go over there, but we've been over there. So... There wasn't, like, a ton of stuff up here? I'm not gonna walk off the edge. Uh... Oh, that was terrifying. So, I guess this building is done. party here. There we go. Oh, wow! 
the inventory is actually full. All right, we'll eat those. Uh, you know what? We're gonna take a little juice shot. And that's a lot of baked potatoes. We're not gonna eat all those. Uh, you know what? Let's drop off the existing, uh, or our current amount of supplies back at the raft since we are basically full. And then we can keep going on some more of these buildings and see what else is going on. But I think this was a pretty productive looting trip. Let's uh, head over to the kitchen first, I think. Alright, got some meat, got some meat. really, shark, come on man, uh, actually we're gonna throw the meat on the grill, and let's see, let's see, throw more baked potatoes in there, uh, watermelon, any other food stuff? Ooh, we've got our sushi recipe, and we're gonna have to start putting things on the walls, because the board, at least how I currently have it spaced, cannot hold anything else. Um, I don't see any food there. I don't see any food there. Um, and do I want to take... I think I'll take the catfish with us as a supplementary food... Uh, for our next expedition. And... Let's... No, we'll do our inventory and then sleep. Uh, okay. Vine goo. Um, fancy schmancy stuff. Ingots. Scrap. Planks, uh, rocks, yes. Um, if I have a separate place I keep ore? No, that does just go with the ingots, okay. Plastic, rope, getting better. Uh, let's see, weapons. I want the 30, and then I don't use those kind of arrows. Um, let's see. Don't really need that spear, but we'll take the machete as a backup, because ours is definitely about to break. Um, and you know what? We're not going to worry. Uh, that goes in tools. We're not going to worry about our axe for now, because uh, it is... We'll, we'll do collect the, the trees on our way out, and then bio fuel is around here somewhere. Okay. And yeah, we've still got some night time to sleep through. Everyone's favorite. And... Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna leave that empty for the moment. And be responsible. Okay. Back into the city. Okay. So, and obviously, I am excited for Small Land to be coming out, otherwise I wouldn't be, uh, filling my YouTube schedule with even more, uh, responsibility, um, and, uh, trying to, uh, you know, find more time to get that out for you guys, um, but, uh, I'd be curious to hear what all you guys are 
playing or looking forward to playing soon because I know that we're uh, we're kind of getting to a time right now where it feels like a lot of things um, a decent number of things I feel like just came out or are coming out soon um, and goodness even other than things that I I don't know if I'm going to be putting on the channel or not um, there's even other stuff I know of that I am very much looking forward to. The, uh, the Jedi Survivor trailer, just, uh, the, the story trailer, I should specify, just came out. And my goodness, does that game look incredible. I, I loved the, uh, uh, you have to, like, back away from those to chop it. That's so weird. Um... Yeah, I, I loved uh, Fallen Order, at least, once I finally got around to playing it. And uh, I cannot wait for the sequel. Um, and I think I've mentioned it before, but I am very much looking forward to the, uh, the new Horizon DLC that's going to be coming out, I think, only like a week or two before... So I'm just, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be swamped in April. Um, so I know like those are on my list. I've, I've seen a lot of people really hyped right now about the new uh, Resident Evil remake. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be playing that one myself or not, but I'll probably catch some some streams or some videos of some others playing that because that did look like quite an impressive uh yeah i was gonna i was gonna say remaster but it really is a full-blown remake of that game all right i think we've got this floor taken care of is that really it here okay was there really not anywhere else i could get to on the roof or anything. I guess not. Alright. I'm always skeptical. There's so many little, like, parkour challenges in these places. Hold up. I see scrap, but I also see a zip line. I think that there is a zip line there. But we can get to that building. That is not a comfortable jump. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Little toolbox. Or crate. Whatever. Full of scrap. I love to see it. Okay. Um... How do I get down? That is my question. Because I would rather not break my legs? I feel like that's a reasonable request. Because, like, I obviously can't go back the way I came. Um. Ah, here we go. There. That wasn't so bad. Can I get in here? No. That'd be a good little sneaky door, though. Okay, so we went in there. Um, I think we can actually get on top of this building. Maybe this... Maybe that's where I was supposed to go. Or maybe I can't get on top of this. Can get on top of this building. I knew it. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything up there. So darn. Played myself. Um, nothing here. But once again, that looks like a good little hiding spot. All right, are we down to like the last main? Oh, the skirts building. Uh, I don't actually know if I have a key card. I do. Okay. Thought we were gonna have to turn around and fight. But nope. 
We'll just chill to some nice elevator music. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm also curious to know um, if you guys would enjoy... Uh, oh my gosh, that just made me jump. Bad, bad rat. Um, see, I let my guard down for just one minute, and then that's the room where the rat is. Every time. Ooh, I see that crate over there. Um... But yeah, I'm curious if you guys would enjoy, um, even though it's definitely different than uh, everything we've done so far on the channel, uh, if you'd enjoy seeing some playthroughs of games like uh, Jedi Survivor, or even something like the uh, Horizon, uh, not Zero Dawn, uh, Forbidden West, that's the one, uh, DLC. Um, that's coming out. Um, I definitely would be doing it in a little bit different of a format than uh, I do these um, these survival games because uh, if I just did those in like an hour at a time kind of segments it would uh, I mean like these it would take a long time to get through a game but I feel like with a more story based game uh, than some of these survival games it just wouldn't quite make sense. Um, but if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know. If it's not so much, also let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, it's something I'm going to play no matter what, but uh, if you want to be along for the ride, I'm cool with that as well. Um, Alright. Uh, but as far as this apartment goes, it looks like we have a few places to check out. Um, and I think that they're going to... Oh, no! Alright, so that went poorly. Uh... They're gonna require us to, I think, re-travel up and down the building. Um, okay. No, chill out, robot. I also like how, like, if you're outside, he'll come after you, and then you go inside and it runs away. Alright, elevator music time once again. Okay, do we try this challenge? For whatever reason, why do I feel like I used to jump from there to here before? Hmm. Okay, I'm... Is there just... No, there, there is fall damage in this game. It's just a really high threshold. And maybe they've increased it. Like, some I'm actually... I used to, uh... Hurt myself a lot. Trying to do some of these jumps here in Tangaroa. Alright. Back up we go. Alright, so Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pause on that balcony. And we're gonna wait. This is yet another balcony? Oh this it's the same balcony as the other. You can go up a floor. The same as over there. Can I go in? No. Okay. So I have to go on this side and then we go upstairs. 
And then I bet, like, from here, we could make that jump super easily. Yeah. Okay, and I didn't, like, miss anything else, right? Yeah, okay. So I bet that other balcony literally exists to show you that this one also exists. This is like the fanciest one that we've been in. That's a big old kitchen. Um, cool. Summon the elevator. Uh, I keep feeling like, yeah, this door. I'm like, I keep feeling like I'm missing a room. So I can't stay focused for more than two seconds. Alright, and then we go across the hall and there's gonna be a rat! No, I was expecting it too much. Okay. Oh, we just got a new bow! Let's go! Um, oh, and then this is the zip line that takes us over there. Some nice little paintings. That's pleasant. Alright, is that all this place has to offer? Okay, I'm curious. I'm not actually gonna go. We're in a... Now that has a... I think that this originally didn't have an 8th floor button, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not, though, because we would have gone through here already. Or would we? Wait. No, we didn't. What? Is this literally how you get access to this building? Oh, nope, there- see? I- I was- I was just chilling again, and then, and then the rat. I'm falling victim to it every single time. Got another safe. Alright, we're gonna be just absolutely loaded on tape. Start making everything out of tape. Tape our whole raft together. Alright, and then I'm gonna just hit floor zero. So I'm actually curious what the lobby is looking like here. Yeah, we have not been in here. Alright, well that's open now if we need to come back. And then we'll go ride that zip line. All that for three scrap. All right, and then our way off is basically, oh, just jumping and hurting ourselves. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. All right. So, it's looking like this is gonna be another long one today because we basically just are hitting our normal episode time. 
But I don't want to draw Tangaroa out into three episodes, I think. Um, I think that we can knock the rest of this out in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, so let's go, I think, put the rest of this stuff away. Uh, we may need to make a new headlamp. And uh, we can then try to finish this place off. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If at all possible. Alright. Get our ore cooking away. I'll come back and sort through all that cooked stuff later. Um, alright. Uh, no plastic needs to go there. We've got some fuel. We've got some stuff. Uh, where's the vines? There we go. Find who goes in there. Um, put the fishing pole. And let's see what we did. Get a new arrow. And we got a new bow. Tell you what. I think we are just going to be a little bit kind of resource irresponsible and only take the nicer ones. Um, Alright, we've got scrap. We've got garbage. Uh, here, we can just eat the leftovers real quick because it basically does nothing. needs to get put away. That is basically it. Alright, let's sleep. And then we'll, uh, we'll just, oh, I didn't make the headlamp. Alright, uh, batteries. Apparel. I need a headlight. I need rope and scrap. Boom. Alright, headlamp at the ready. Finish that off because of the partial fish there is bothering me. I know that it's wasteful, but... We're getting a decent amount of food here, and we can always catch more fish. Alright, so our last thing to explore would be the big old tower here. But I think that we're going to try to go repair uh, the last little zappy electric nonsense uh, that we can. Because we were missing some tape last time, and now it is getting dark. Um, yeah, we were missing our tape, and we should have more than enough now. And we can see what that's going to do. There was also that one building that said access from the plantation, and I bet it's right there. So maybe that's what we're doing. Definitely heard something. Ooh, there's more. Okay, so that's locked. That's an elevator. Ah, more tape. Ooh, wait, I need. Oh, I don't have my axe. Of course, now that I do put it away, we finally need it for something. A 
Aha. Oh. Wait, is there still... Is there something else I can tape to make the water not zappy? Ooh, that way. Oh, I just slipped in. Dang it, that's my first, I think that's my first time getting shocked this whole run. And there we go. No more electricity water. I will take all of the strawberries I can, and I'm so sorry I can't take the banana trees. Uh, I will try to remember to come back for those. No promises, but I will try. There we go, the elevator is open. And, ooh. The electric purifier. Um, alright. All of that is look good. Once again, tons of roaches and that we can't get through. Uh, the loading bay. What's the loading bay? Wait, is that where our raft is? Oh, nice! Now we finally have that shortcut open. Ooh, we're on floor negative four. Very good. Okay, so... What else is in here? A little bit of plastic, a little bit of wood, a little bit of scrap, and bugs. At least they're not grounded bugs and giant and trying to eat us, so that's a win. Alright, um, floor zero sounds good to me. And there we are. We have kind of escaped, and then let's head up to floor eight. This is something I never actually did in the uh, early access. I don't know if it was available in the early access or not, but I at least never did it. Oh, they're having a party for us, and I can't pop the balloons. That's kind of sad. Um. But I guess it's rude of me to pop the balloons at the party they're throwing. Um, ooh, look at all this nice patio. Um, wait. Oh, no, they've just, like, reworked this. Because I used to... There just was a different way, I think, to do all of this. Uh, lots of vending machine tokens. That is wonderful. Uh, let's let's loot all of this before going much farther. No, give me the give me the cooked thing. I need my beet. More pool. Oh no! And it's another surprise rat. The rat was throwing a fake birthday for me to lure me into a false sense of security. Look, they're, they're throwing me a birthday party one YouTube video too soon. Uh, wait, where was that arrow? Uh, I got some kind of prompt somewhere. Ooh, tokens! And a little bit sketchy looking of a cake, but... It's probably been here for a long time. All right, no tokens in that one. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, I think, oh, there's my other arrow. I'm like, I knew I shot one that missed. Uh, okay, it looks like this is all that we can do in here. So let's 
this. Okay, I thought I saw something interesting. I did not. Let's start going up. Anything on the back? Nope. That's an open door, though. And in here. Oh, uh, we got a broken window. It's always weird in this game. We're like, ooh, yay, broken windows. It's just not something you're normally happy about, you know? Breaking in. Uh, nope. There we go. Oh gosh, that scared me. Okay, apparently I must have done the whole tape fix previously, or they did rework it a little bit. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are going to be able to get, like, a whole reaction video out of this from me. Just jumping at the shoulders? Mutant rats. You know, whatever they're called. Alright, any other, any sec? floor loot. Sometimes the little bit of sheen on some of the textures tricks me into thinking it is a lootable item. Alright, but I think that's it down here. Let's go one more floor up. Ooh, there we go. That's the kind of loot that I'm looking for. All right. Yeah, this is a, you know, fancy little club here. All right. How about behind the bar? Are you guys hiding anything back here? Can't even open these cabinets up. What is this? All right. Well, here. Their loot is secure. Is there, is there really, like, nothing up on this floor that's... Oh. No, I'm just blind. That would have been... That would have been a bad one to just walk past. Uh, wait. How do I leave? Where do I go? Oh, broken window, naturally. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the old face plant. Now, this is a, this is a view. There's the raft. But we're, we gotta climb higher. got like an eerie background noise. You're like, oh, nope, keep going, keep going. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll be right there. Doing another lap to make sure, but yeah. Look at all this, my goodness. Man, that building is still even like slightly taller than where we're at. Oh, look at our raft from here. That's crazy. All right. Let's grab the things. There is some plastic. Anything else hiding back here? I guess not. Um, uh-oh. Am I stuck? There we go. All right. Some scrap and wood. Um, anything else hiding in here? I really thought there was. Okay. I hope this elevator's fast. We're up really high. I guess it is only going two floors up, though. Alright. Floor one, please. 
Uh, for zero, I guess? All right. Ooh, lower. No, sir. They haven't done anything hostile. Yes, they're still just chanting. Yes, sir, I am armed. But if I may speak freely, we are able to use the water cannons if... Yes, sir. No, sir. Tuli says shoot to wound. Dang. All right. Well, that opens us up. Can I really not go to floor one? Well, now I can. Oh, I was on floor one. I wonder why it said... There we go. All right, let's grab our things. There we go. Large storage blueprint. Excellent. All right. And then here is our note. So, oh, I can't, oh, no, I can come out here. So we are on top of Tangaroa right now. And let's see, let's see. Uh, we need to do the emergency bridge launch. And our journal should tell us more. So we need to get numbers from each of these symbols. So the Tranquil Street, Diving Mask, Exterior Lane Burger, Bazaar Street, Scissors, and Partesian Road, uh, Buoy. You guys got all that? So, you probably noticed there's a bunch of uh, these small buildings we can't go in. So, that looks like an 8 to me for the burgers, which is the second number. So, something 8. Looks like our next one's coming up here. Uh, this is a barber and arcade, which is four. Or no, 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 that was only an advertisement for the barber. This is the goggles. They're not goggles, they're arcade glasses, and that is four. So, four, eight. Four, eight, three. Yes, of course I'm evading you. You have a taser strapped to your arm. I know it's not your fault. They taped them there, but... Okay, four, eight, three, one. Right? No, four, eight, one, three. All right. Ooh, and it looks like the sun is just starting to rise again. Oh, I missed. Alright, so before we do that, let's take a look at the vending service as long as I'm not being uh, chased here. I'll put my headlamp on so you can see this a little better. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, so we have 30 vending machine tokens, which I actually believe is all of them. 
if I'm not mistaken. So I think we did pretty darn well. We also have 11 tape still. So good on us. Um, alright. So we can actually buy armor and a backpack and a new machete. We can craft all that stuff. But we do have a cassette tape back at the raft and no way to play it. So we can spend some of our tokens... And out will pop a nice little present of a radio. And I think that we will be able to put our cassette in there. Or we can just be really cool and carry it on our shoulder like this. Um, Alright, so do we want a grand piano? I mean, probably. So, let's see what else. I think that these are not recipes. I think that those are actual meals. So, I don't think we want to pay for food. Now, these are kind of fun. These are some decorative plants. And then what do we have over here? These are some specialized collectible paintings. Uh, is that not a thing? Interesting. I think that we should probably get one of each painting and we can have a little art gallery room. And sure enough, okay, so that one just doesn't have an entry. And then how many tokens do we have left? We have six tokens left. So, we could either get three plants, or we just get another jukebox. I think we're gonna just, like, leave, uh, leave those six in our inventory, and, uh, that, that, that gives us some good stuff. Like, having a piano, that's, you, you gotta get the piano. Um, and, uh, you know, we can drown out the elevator music with our own tunes. Let's, let's head back up to the top. And oh gosh, I hope I remember the code. Uh, it's either 4813 or 6813. I think it's 6813. Nope. I, by that, I meant it's definitely not 6813. It's totally 4813 and oh my gosh, what is happening? Bye-bye. So, let's go do some investigating. Oh no. Oh no. All right, to the raft. Oh no, it's raining on our parade. Okay, uh, hopefully we can find wherever the heck that thing landed. Uh, first things first. We need some tunes. We need tune? You know what? Whatever. Shark, just... Oh, it just changes automatically. Perfect. All right. The anchor is up. We're going backwards. That's unacceptable. Turn those engines on. All right. Everybody keep your eyes on the lookout for a giant thing. Uh, I wonder if it's on the radar. Oh no, the battery's empty. That's right. I accidentally left it on last time. 
We're just gonna keep making laps until we find it. Engines are empty. Disaster has struck. Uh, 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 grab the fuel. Should be back underway. There we go. Much better, much better. Oh, I nope, nope, that's a smudge on my monitor. Ha! I thought I saw it. Oh no, but now I see it. We're coming around. I'm also now realizing that we should have opened up the rest of the Tangaroa doors so that now that we've come around to a different side that we have access, but you know what? That's okay. All right. We are on a decent course now. And... Roughly out that ish. Don't want to go too dead on because I don't want to make it too difficult to get away from it. Um, I'm going to see if we can do some rapid crafting real quick on our way. Um, actually, I should do some rapid put stuff away. Uh, we don't need all that. Blueprints. Boom, boom. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. we've got vine goo. Go in there. We've got garbage arrows. Go in there. We've got materials. Go in there. We've got a headlamp. Go in there. That's food. We've got, we've got wood. We've got plastic. We've got scrap. And our crew hub, we're here. All right. We have reached our destination. We are anchored. Watch out, bird. I'm using that as a launching off point. Um, whatever. We're going to take these seeds inside with us. Um, because I don't have a reason to delay any longer. Don't attack me, shark. Oh, that was a great jump. Okay. Oh, man. I already see a good safe for us. And a blueprint. Is that a note? No. Is that a note? No. Oh, my gosh. That's a person. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, my goodness, that... Mm -hmm. Hello. You there! Get me out of this thing! No, you seem oh, kind of rude. Thanks. Next time, I would appreciate a heads up before launching. I tried to leave when the first shots were fired. Tangaroa was doomed from the start. Mm -hmm. If you get me a ride out of here, I can offer you entrepreneurial consulting. Plus, mm -hmm. I did some sailing in my youth. Won a few championships. I'll be useful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You can count on me. 
Sure. Sure I can. Uh... Baruna. We'll check that out. Ooh, the water tank. The good old water tank. Anything else fun here? Ooh, there we go. Another safe. And... It's looking like it's gonna just about do it. So let's take a quick look at the... Oh, no, no, no. Lower. My name is James Tully. This is my final message. Tangaroa City was built on a purely theoretical basis, using engines that had barely been tested, held together by the sweat and tears of our crew. But we were never sustainable. And I should have accepted that months ago. When the rafters arrived, I could have let them starve with us. But I didn't. The only right choice was to abandon Tangaroa to the waves. Now I will stay here, trapped in the cockpit, with two dozen idiots who used to run the world. Don't worry. We'll pay for our sins before the end. Hmm. Interesting that none of them are in the cockpit, yet weird lady who wants to join our raft because she was a junior sailing champion was. Well, anyway, uh, journal... Where are we? We're heading to Varuna Point. Very interesting. So wait, we've got Tully and then Max Lenshoff, who he, this is our founder of Tangaroa. I guess it's also possible that the, uh, the rafters, like, got them. You think, eh, on top, eh, doesn't look like it. Um, all right. Well, I think that that basically wraps up Tangaroa. However, I am pretty confident that I missed one particularly good loot room that I'm not sure how to get to. So, commenters, you know your job. Um, I believe that there is like, and I, I could be totally crazy with this. But I believe that there is a way to get one of the additional elevators to go underground, underwater, um, to go to a negative floor. Um, and uh, once you do, there's a bunch of really good loot. Um, so, if I'm not crazy about that, and you know how to do said, uh, task, if you want to leave it in a comment, I would really appreciate it, and I will, uh, I'll go ahead and do that first thing next time and give you a little shout out, uh, for, um, helping make that happen. Um, otherwise, I think this is where we are going to leave things off having completed more or less, Tangaroa City, at least all of the quest stuff here. Um, I will at least stop back by and harvest all of the trees um, that are kind of bordering the city, as well as grabbing those last couple banana trees uh, down in the plantation. Um, but otherwise, I think that we have pretty much cleaned out the place. Um, so, um, as always, thank you guys so much for your continued support on the series. Um, seeing all of your comments um particularly on the last episode you guys were so awesome with uh <laughs> so many name options and so much help um both with uh, things i'd missed last time as well as some uh advice moving forward that uh, i was able to take advantage of this time uh going through the city um it it's uh it's been awesome to see so much support uh, with the series, um, and it really makes it extra fun, uh, to be able to share my experience in this game with all of you. Um, so thank you all, uh, again for your, uh, continued support of the series and the channel. Um, 
And uh, if you did enjoy the episode today, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video. Um, it will uh, continue to help the series to get promoted by YouTube, by the uh, all-knowing algorithm, and uh, help new people to uh, find the series. And um, otherwise, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you will catch the next episode and all of the content that we have planned uh, coming up next week. And... Um, Otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon uh, with the next episode. See ya!